All right, so you've heard about the coronavirus. Is it affecting anything? Uh, it's affecting everything. That's the reality <laughs> of the markets. And more than ever, we ask you to tune into the National Real Estate Cafe because we're going to look at a lot of different media outlets that are just trying to get your eyeballs. And we're going to tell you what's really happening. And you'll see that we've changed our tone from just a few weeks ago from go, 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 go to pause, evaluate the situation, mm -hmm. and possibly proceed. Um, that's, that's good advice. Well, the thing is that <laughs> rates are still at all-time lows historically. And you might even catch a seller off guard a little bit scared uh, and maybe be able to get a house at a really great price. I think right Ooh, now is a yes. good time to take advantage of somebody. All right, I, so That sounded bad, but that's the truth. So sellers sometimes <laughs> get fearful and they just want to blow a property out. All right. So we'll go to the screen here. Impact of the coronavirus on the U.S. housing market. And we're going to go into not just the housing market, but also how it's, we feel it's going to affect the economy and what we feel to watch out for down the road. All right. Well, I think uh, we'll read this to you since it's very difficult to see. So let's keep that back up there a little bit. Uh, so National Association of Realtors says at the very least the coronavirus could cause some people to put the home sales on You just on said that. Hmm. Wow. But you know what's interesting about that? And I'll tell you why. So when the these things happen. It's uh, what is it? One person's loss is another person's gain. Uh, so uh, if you're selling toilet paper right now, you're gonna go buy a new mansion. Uh, if you <laughs> right <laughs> masks. Yeah. If you're running an airline, you're gonna sell everything because you might have just lost your entire uh, holdings. Mm -hmm. So just be cautious right now depending on what your business is if you think you're going to be impacted by this over the next 12 months if you could possibly lose your job then maybe it's not the right time to take action but if you're in a good situation you're in an industry that's doing well this might be a great time to take advantage it's always uh, yeah, like you said you know when the housing market was down and a lot of people are losing jobs those who had a good cash position made, made, made a killing so the bottom line is is coronavirus will affect everyone globally because now we're a, a global community it used to be you just were hyper local and you worried about your nation or your state but now it's global and it's going to affect the economy abroad because right now we haven't even seen the the total effects of it. It's just going to start and we feel unfortunately now that all the new test kits are coming out and the way the media jumps on this that you're going to get this spike in people that are uh, infected. infected. And it's going to really be, it, it's, it's gonna scare It's going to really people. be big, guys. I'm sorry to say, but the reality of the matter is currently we're only testing people that are very sick. So you might be walking around with a little, and you may have it. And that may be all that happens to you. Um, right now, the death rate is extremely high because we're only testing very sick people. Once, if we have tests and we're able to test everybody, I anticipate that the death rate will go 3%. down. It'll go down. Well, that's still very high compared to the regular flu. Right. Um, so hopefully they're able to vaccine around this next year, and we just have to deal with it for a short well, amount of time. Well, here's a perfect ex example of the media jumping on things. Is they're talking about 800 people died or 2,000, you know, this type of thing, where they don't talk about the 64,000 that had it, and they're fine. Yeah. They're actually already, you know, um, done with it. They they survived and they're moving on. And we do know someone local that has it, and mm -hmm. they've been in quarantine for like a month now. Yeah, poor guy. Uh, and he's doing okay. Yeah, he's doing fine. He's, he's doing, doing a video blog on every it every single day. day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, go to hometownstation.com. Check out Carl's story. I've been engaged with it. I've been watching it. Mm -hmm. um, Carl is, Goldman. Carl Goldman with KHCS. He's been, and he's been on TV uh, like every other day because he's well, because the guy he was who's on the documenting. Ship, he got flown out. I mean, mm -hmm. he was one of the first patients mm -hmm. in the entire United States. And here's the other area it's going to affect. Right now, you know, you hear about it abroad, but when it hits your backyard, like it may ne didn't hit your city, like in, we're in Santa Cruz, it hasn't really hit. As soon as we hear like this person has or that person has, and I'm hearing and there's a few that are hit just over the hill in Cal State Northridge. I just heard 15 or there. It, it's going to affect affect all of us some way and it's going to put fear in the market. So trust me, it's going to affect the economy globally. Absolutely. So so all that steam, all that momentum, everything that was happening that we were like, go, 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 boom, changed overnight with a global pandemic, which is totally outside of everybody's control. And this just means evaluate your situation, know your options, speak to your financial planner, speak to your trust attorney, speak to all the professions in your life and make sure that you're protected against what could possibly happen, even in the worst case scenario. Our, our best advice is don't panic, don't react, think before you act, because like Gino said, it's nothing's happening overnight and there are opportunities. I mean, look at all the people, more people are refinancing now than ever and gonna save a substantial amount of money. More people are buying homes for less cost, 
and less payment because rates have gone down. So there's some great opportunities That's as well. You could buy a house in Italy real cheap right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't get to it. <laughs> Just buy and hold. All right. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep you up to date with what we feel is going to really happen because the media is going to jump all over this. Be careful what they're, they're just trying to scare away. Again, we always tell you that the negative uh, information sells 10 times more than positive information. So and we're trying to not mindset. be either negative or positive. We want to be completely net neutral and just get down and dirty and just say, each case is special. You're different. Make sure that you get advice on your particular situation. No, you're different. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it right here on the National Real Estate Cafe. Thanks for tuning in. Share this with your friends. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our website at donandgino.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get these or get them sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885. Thanks. <sighs> wow.